I am with David Robinson, Senior Advisor to Community Links, at the uh, end of a fantastic chain reaction event where we spent uh, three hours talking about big society and uh, how we do things better for less and more creatively in future. Um, David, this seems to me, um, the, for me, the, the kind of best forum discussion we've had, which crosses over different sector, so congratulations. What are the key points that uh, you heard coming from people here? Well, I think uh, uh, an awful lot of key points, which we're going to have to spend some time sorting out. But I, I think that uh, I suppose the starting off point was that the discussions about big society and the way government has framed this uh, gives us a new way of thinking about the relationship between sectors. Uh, but that none of us in the uh, third sector, uh, in the private sector, or even in government, should just be thinking about the government's agenda on this. We need to be thinking about what is it that we want to achieve, and how do we, uh, what is the, uh, the, the, the new set of arrangements between the sectors that enable us to uh, best progress. And I think one of the, one of the positions, the places in which we started in that conversation was thinking about the how over the last uh, few years uh, the divisions between sectors are no longer as clear as they once were and uh, hybrid organisations uh, have emerged. What should be the principles that underpin relationships between different kinds of organisations, between broadly the third sector or civil society and government? And how do we ensure that whether it's the, the big society or an alternative progressive vision, how do we ensure that it is underpinned by a set of values which each sector can sign up to, each organisation, indeed each individual can sign up to? And characterise what we think of, not perhaps just as the big society, but as the good society. And we talked to both this afternoon about what some of those uh, values might be, how they might be uh, uh, carried out, and what some very specific ideas around particular projects that might, might uh, flow from that. And also how we might involve not just those of us who are here this afternoon, which, is you, as you say, David, was from uh, people from across the sectors, both government, uh, uh, third sector, uh, uh, private sector, and those of no particular sector at all, not just those people here, but also others who have been involved in chain reaction conversations before and really spreading out this conversation. I think we've begun this afternoon uh, and a lot of conversations that we uh, will continue over the course of the next couple of months and already spun off from that some very specific ideas. A chain reaction as a network is unusual um, in having I mean, 10,000 members, but across sectors, some great events. Um, is this something which could hopefully underpin, lead into development of the big society network or your square mile or, or some of the meta networking that starts to happen now? I think um, the point of big society, uh, the point of chain reaction is, is uh, a forum for these conversations. So we ourselves will not be uh, t taking forward very much of what we talked about. It is about how we can better inform what goes on elsewhere and, and involve more people in them. And I think some of the ideas that came out this afternoon will be going, for instance, to the LGA or IDEA. Some might be going to individual government departments. Some certainly will help to fuel the conversation about what relationships should be going forward and what the big vision is. And certainly some of it uh, may well end up uh, with those who are working on specific developments around the big society. It's not exclusively about that, but I think that is an, an interesting and useful way of beginning the conversation. And in the past, perhaps we thought, well, we'll do the analysis, we'll lay out what the problems are, we'll come up with some opportunities, and then we'll pitch it to government. And obviously that continues, but is there a different sense, I'm hearing from you and other people, that it's up to us to start designing the big society for ourselves? Well, I, th I think we need to seize that opportunity, don't we? I mean, David Cameron said in the, in the, uh, the election campaign that this was about involving us all in government. We are taking him at his word on that and saying we've got some thoughts about that. There was a huge amount of experience in this room. There's a great deal more experience across the network. We need to be saying this is what we've learned about trying to do these things in the past. This is how we think we could shape together uh, a better society.